Hi, I'm Jacob at 10to8. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your business on 10to8 and how you can start taking bookings online the same day you set up your 10to8 account. Right, let's get started. Once your account has been created, I'd recommend you set up your account by following these steps. 1. Add the staff members, that's anyone who needs access to the account. 2. Add all the locations and rooms where the services will take place. 3. Add your availability. 4. Add the services that you offer. 5. Customise your online booking page. 6. Import your customers. and 7. Sync with external calendars if needed. Right, let's get to it. On the left hand menu you will find a setup section with all the different things that you need to change in order to make your 10 to 8 account work for you. First, we'll start by adding staff members. You have to add anyone that takes bookings for your business and the person in charge of managing your calendar, if you have one. There are five possible staff roles with different permissions. System admin, you can edit all of the organization settings, customer details and make bookings directly from the calendar. A person that can view and edit all appointments cannot edit account details. On the other hand, a person that can view and edit their own appointments is not able to see the rest of the staff members and will not be able to edit the organisation settings. If you choose can view all appointments, the staff member will only be able to observe the organisation and not make any changes or edits. And the last one, can view own appointments, this person will only be able to observe his or her own appointments and of course don't make any changes. It's important to add their email and phone number to get automated notifications such as appointment requests. Once you've added all of the staff members, you have to add the locations where the appointments take place. Go to locations and decide whether these appointments will take place at your client's address, online or at your business premises. If you go to premises within the locations tab, you'll find the business address that you added when you signed up. If you want to change the name or the address, simply click edit and make the changes. Once you finish with this, click save. Great, we now have to set up the availability for staff members in the different locations. Go to availability from the setup section and pick which staff member to edit the working hours for. Go ahead and edit your working hours for each day. You can use three options presented to either set the hours for only that specific day, every Monday or a random selection of days. On some of our pay plans we also offer to limit the specific working hours to specific locations on specific dates. For this, you can use the location drop down in the right hand side window. Repeat this for all of the staff members in your business. The fourth step would be to add all the services that your business offers. These services are listed on your client booking page so your customer can choose the type of appointment they wish to take with you. There is no limit on the number of services that you can add. Click add one to one service and start editing it. Services can either be one to one or group bookings. If a service is a one-to-one, -one, your clients can book it at any available time defined in your settings. However, if you're running a business that deals with classes or group bookings, you need to book the times in the calendar yourself, and only then customers can see and register for the available classes. Duration. Set the typical duration for the appointment type. Location. Set whether this service takes place one, online, two, at client's address, or three, at a predefined business premises. Colour. Set the colour that will be shown on your calendar. Online booking. Choose whether clients should be able to see this service type on your public 10 to 8 booking page. Public description. This description will be shown to your customers when they make a booking. Payment. You can sign if you want to just show the price or if you want to take payments online. To do that, you have to set up Stripe, SagePay or PayPal account. This takes one minute to set up and you can find more info on our help section. And last one, booking restrictions. Here you can define whether specific services can only take place at certain locations or can be taken by certain staff. If you need these restrictions, you'd have to contact us and we'll add them in for you. And that's all. You're almost ready to start getting online bookings. The last thing you need to do is make your public booking page look as professional as possible. To do that, you have to go to the online booking section and customise your page starting from the header, the logo and including description of your business. If you want to integrate the booking widget to your website, you can also do so by copying the code on this page. You can also add a book now button from here. The last two steps are also necessary if you want to save time and make sure you don't get double bookings. One would be to import all of your customer database into your 10 to 8 account, where you can upload your Excel file containing your customer details. If you have external calendars, you can sync them with your 10 to 8 account by going here. You can sync with multiple calendars from different staff members, which is very convenient especially when the staff members work in different places. Great, 
Now everything is ready, I'll show you how to book an appointment directly from your calendar so you can start playing with it. To do that, go to your calendar here and click on a specific day to start adding the details. Select the service, the customer, you get a new one directly from here, the time and day when this appointment will take place, the location, the room if needed, and the staff member. You can also add a private note for yourself if you want to. Once you're ready, click book and done. So this is everything you need to know to start using 10 to 8 and start reducing no-shows and admin time. I hope you found it useful. Don't hesitate to contact help at 10to8.com if you have any other questions.